I am just about to head out. It is such a beautiful day today. It is nice and warm, but not too hot. The sun is shining and I just feel so happy. This is my outfit of the day. Very comfy and casual. These shorts are from ASOS. I will have them linked below. I've got my white Keds sneakers and a white t-shirt, little gold necklace, and then I've got on my Sunrev bag as well. This has been such a good bag to bike with because obviously there's nothing like moving around on my body as I'm biking, so I really like this one. It is just a little bit big, so I actually just ordered a smaller one, which should hopefully be coming very soon. I will also be bringing this hat with me. This is from Amazon. I actually got this ages ago, and it's actually very practical because you can roll this up and just put it in your bag like for example i can't bike with this hat because it will just fly off it's like very floppy so once we get to the park i'll just take this out put it on and i will be protected from the sun all right so this is the hat by the way the back is so cute but what i love is that you can just undo it like that and then you can just roll this up like so and then there's this little elastic that you just put on top and there you go, and then you can put it into your bag, in your car. I don't even think I told you guys where I was going. I was so excited to get outside and the weather was just so amazing. But I went to go see one of my friends. Her name is Nadine. She is just the loveliest person ever. And she just moved into a new apartment. So she invited me over to see it. And then we had a really nice long walk. We had some lunch. I had an avocado toast at a place called Mary's Coffee Club. I would highly recommend that place, by the way, if you guys are ever in Munich. It's really cute and cozy and they've got like some nice kind of healthier options. And then we just walked around and caught up. I hadn't seen her in a while so I didn't vlog much but it was really nice to see her and now I'm back home. Mo also met up with some friends today and he is still out but I think he should be back like within the next 20 minutes or so so we'll probably just cook something very simple at home and have a nice relaxed evening i want to get in the shower take my makeup off and just get nice and fresh and ready for bed i absolutely love my evening routine which is it's not you know a crazy routine but it definitely involves a nice shower and using like um, a body wash that is nice and scented like a calming scent like a natural calming scent washing my face doing my skincare routine and then just cuddling up in bed with a good book uh, sometimes we'll watch something on netflix but recently I've been really into reading. I do actually want to share an audiobook that I've been really enjoying that I've been listening to when I'm like doing other things. Like biking today, I was listening to it and when I'm just like cooking and cleaning and organizing and stuff, it's been really, really nice. So the audiobook that I've been listening to is called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Powerful Lessons in Personal Change and it is by Stephen Covey. This is such a classic. I've been wanting to listen to this book for ages and I'm so happy that I finally got around to it. I'm pretty sure this book was written in the 80s or in the 90s and over 
30 million copies have been sold so this is definitely one of those classics it of course covers the principles of how to be really effective as a human but it's so much more than that i think it's a really good book on just life and on communication skills on personal self-mastery and how to really manage yourself i found it to be quite grounding and it's almost like listening to somebody who's had an incredible life and they just teach you what works. I especially enjoyed the chapters on personal leadership and personal management. I think that's something that we can all use whether you're an entrepreneur or you're a busy mom or you're a student or you're just trying to get your life together i feel like these tips that he shares are just so applicable i wrote down some of my favorite quotes i want to share those with you guys the first one that i wrote down is the challenge is not to manage time but to manage ourselves and i love this quote so much because we all have the same 24 hours in the day and it's really up to us on how we use Use that time there's another one that kind of goes with that which is the key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule but to schedule your priorities another quote that I really like is how different our lives are when we really know what is deeply important to us and keeping that picture in mind we manage ourselves each day to be and to do what really matters most I also love this one which I've never heard anyone kind of say this before but I think it, it makes so much sense and he writes live out of your imagination not your history how beautiful is that quote I love it I want to write that down and like put it somewhere in our apartment I think it's so important to use your imagination to forward your life and as he's saying to not live in our history in what happened yesterday in our fears in things that have gone wrong in the past we have to keep ourselves positive and looking forward and using our imagination for a good thing i know that we can oftentimes use our imagination thinking about like all the bad things that could happen but we can also use it to think about all the good things that can happen and the book in general is just filled with so many great takeaways and i would highly highly recommend it and if you guys want to listen to this book for free i am working with audible on this video so you can head to audible.com forward slash annie jeffrey or if you're in the us you can text annie jeffrey to 500 500 and you will get one free audio Audiobook. It can be any audiobook of your choice and you will also get a free 30-day membership And you guys know I love audible so much if it wasn't for audible I would not be able to consume the amount of books that I do and something cool that audible has done is that they've opened Their complete audible original library So once you're a member you can listen to as many audible originals as you like and then you will of course get your one free audiobook per month members also have unlimited access to all of their guided wellness programs including popular sleep programs which can really help to wind you down at the end of the day before you go to bed especially during these stressful times and something that i think is really cool especially if you have kids audible has now launched audible stories and that is free to anyone anywhere you do not have to be a member to access these stories and you can stream hundreds of titles completely free there are no strings attached and i think that's a nice way to reduce stress and and stay entertained especially if you have kids and the whole experience is completely ad free and again there are no strings attached so you don't need an account you don't need to log in you just click stream and listen so it's very straightforward so I'll make sure to have a link for that down below as well including the link for your free audiobook which will be at audible.com forward slash Annie Jeffrey now I'm gonna hop into the shower I'm gonna wash my face take my makeup off get all cozy and I will see you guys in a little bit good morning 
morning guys it is the next day i am in our car and i'm about to head to a facial which i am so excited about i've been going to the same facialist for a few years and i have vlogged that before but she is unfortunately not working any longer because she's pregnant which is great but i miss her and she's now on maternity leave so i'm going back to a place that i used to go to before i was with her and we are going to do a hydrofacial those are my all-time favorite types of facials because they are really effective when i go for facials i like for them to do things that i can't do by myself and the hydrofacial is an incredible little machine and you can do hydrofacials um, anywhere in the world wherever they offer them so I'm very excited for that. My skin is doing so good. I already see the inflammation on my cheeks, like these little bumps. They're definitely still there, but it's a lot less than it was a few weeks ago. And I'm just so grateful and excited. And I am just, uh, I want to do everything I can to just like make my body feel good and allow it to heal as fast as possible. So I'm just going to be patient and I feel like I'm on the right track and as I mentioned in two vlogs ago I have now started eating more healthy fats in my diet so more avocados nuts seeds I'm also eating wild salmon again and eggs and just really balancing out my diet but at the same time not being too strict on myself if that makes sense so yeah now I'm gonna head to my facial and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what we do It is a new day and we are about to head out. We're going to a lake called Tegensi Lake. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's about an hour away and we're gonna go there and have lunch and walk around and enjoy the weather. It's another beautiful day today and it's not too like extremely hot. It's around 29 degrees, which is like perfect. So I'm really excited to get outside, but I wanted to update you guys on my facial that I had yesterday. It was so good and I just missed having a facial. It had been so long. She did do quite a bit of extractions here on my cheeks where I have the most um, like breakouts and bumps. You guys would have seen that in my other video that I posted. My two vlogs ago. So I do have a few little spots here now, but overall my skin just feels really smooth and exfoliated and nourished and just like hydrated. So I'm really excited about that. And of course today I'm very light on the makeup. So I just have a little bit of concealer, some blush and bronzer and a little bit of eye makeup so that I can really let my skin breathe. And of course we've got on lots of SPF because we are going to be heading outside. I probably will also take my hat that I showed you guys um, earlier in this video I've been wearing that like non-stop when it's been sunny I actually also have these two hats that I don't wear that often they are from lack of color and they're really cute I actually really like these but I mostly wear them when we're on vacation this is the first one I'll show you guys what they look like I love the color of this hat and I like the like the way that it's um, stitched or you know like this texture but I just wish that the rim was a little bit more like bent down okay here is another view of that hat let me know what you guys think of this down below and the second one looks like this 
I think this one is a little bit more complimentary to my face. I ordered these online so it's a little bit difficult to tell, you know, like what they're going to look like. They're actually really old. I don't know if they're still available, but I will see if I can find them and I will link them for you guys down below. But this one is so cute as well. And then of course I have the super cheap one from Amazon that I absolutely love. Even though I have those other two hats, I think I go for this one the most because it is adjustable so it's not going to be too tight around my head and if I've just done my hair or something it's not gonna like create too much of a dent because you can really make this as tight as you want so I think I'm just gonna wear this one again today uh, but let me know which one you guys prefer out of the three that I just showed you let me know below in the comments <laughs> So Mo was explaining that we are in Tegenzi, but the lake or this part is called Batvisa. Batvisa. So pretty. I always get the good spots, you know? <laughs> so but what flavors did you get? Johannes beer. What is that? It's a berry. I don't know what kind of Johannes beer. And, and this is cocos. So you want to try? Yeah. Is it sorbet? Yeah, it's sorbet. that this is just like an hour away from where we live right yeah one thing that I have to say about like the Bavarian area where we live it's so nice because we have literally over 200 lakes around the area here you know like small lakes but big lakes and it's just you can't even see them all you know it's so nice I really love that and it's like every time you come back you see something different We are now back home and 
friend that was so nice we actually ended up having lunch here before we left and then we got there and we had an ice cream and then we had like an early dinner we got a boat that you guys would have seen as well and it was just really fun to see something different and just to be in nature and the weather was really beautiful as well so we had a very nice relaxing afternoon I'm now going to wrap up this video and I actually want to film another vlog tomorrow on Sunday um, and that might actually be up before this one we'll see so yeah i am going to wrap up this video and before i go i want to do a giveaway for you guys i love doing these for you and i get sent quite a lot of pr so i want to share those things with you guys so everything that you see on the screen right now one of you can win and all you have to do to enter is to leave me a comment under my latest instagram picture i will have it linked for you guys down below and then i will pick a winner in about a week or so and contact you on instagram thanks so much for watching this video i hope you're all having a beautiful day and i will see you in my next one bye guys